Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to the Dark Eye Chains of Satanov. When we last left off, we got quite a bit more uh, backstory. Uh, we won the Oak Leaf Challenge, and we were charged with catching some crows in the uh, guest chambers at the King's Palace, and we kind of had a little uh, run-in with a crow, which led to us finding out a uh, uh, little bit of a flashback about the seer getting burned at the stake and uh, we learned that Gwynling was kind of in charge or he headed up all the heroes that caught the seer and now uh, he is charging in uh, Gwynling sorry <laughs> trying to recap here uh, and Gwynling sent us to the forest because we need the fairy and the fairy is in this tree hollow right here but we need some forest friends first, and then she'll come out and uh, talk to us, or we can talk to her, or whatever it is we need to do with the fairy, which I think we need the harp. She needs to play the harp. That's what it is. So, with that, we've got a snail. What a peculiar snail shell. It's like an elven cornucopia from the old tales. Can we pick up the snail? We can. And I noticed that uh, this pile of leaves over here. Looks like we can listen to it. A little ear symbol there. Guess I'll have to dig in the foliage then. Ow! No fairy. Just a hedgehog. The hedgehog scurried away. The hedgehog scurried away. The hedgehog scurried away. Maybe uh, the hedgehog will be interested in my acorn. Would you like some of that? The wrong bait, obviously. Okay. Let's... The little fairy is nowhere to be seen. If we go to the tree hollow... Hello? Okay, let's present the snail to her. The snail, uh, Jerka, my best friend in all of the forest. You called her just now, but she preferred to stay at home. She doesn't seem to like you very much. <laughs> okay. I'll be back in a minute. Maybe the hedgehog will like the snail. Doesn't look like there's anything more here that I can do. Oh, I can go down. Alright, before I do that, let's uh, try the snail on the pile of leaves. A snail should be the right treat for you. He seems to like it, but he's too scared. A snail sh What if I put the snail he seems, too in the trap? And then, let's go down. Maybe we have to get out of the area completely for the hedgehog to... No, please stay. I seldom have visitors. All right. All right, so we can't go down quite yet. Sitting here, the snail won't lure anything at all. So let's do that. And put the cage with that. There we go. And there's the hedgehog. Very well. Perhaps Gwynling will settle for a hedgehog in case I can't catch the fairy. All right. Serves you right, spiky guy. You shouldn't always sting our guests. No wonder no one ever comes to visit us. That has to be a Theranian hedgehog. There's no kind that has longer spikes. Huh. Okay, can we take it now? Ow! <laughs> All right, I guess not. Let's play the flute at the tree hollow again, because that's what lured her out in the first place. Just keep on playing. Okay. Oh, we have some hedgehog spikes. Long and pointy needles. Hmm. Can we combine them with things? The flute. I'd rather not. An acorn figurine? No. An a No. Why on earth should I... I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> I have no idea. Um... Let's see... 
Is there anything else that I move? Oh, oh, what's that? Chestnut twig. Those wooden marbles grow all over my realm. Okay, let's see what this is. Help yourself. I have plenty of those. All right, let's take a look at the uh, chestnuts. New projectiles for my catapult. Oh. Well, that makes this expedition halfway worthwhile. There you go. Maybe we can combine these with these. Lure the fairy out of her hollow playing the flute. Great idea, Gwynling. All right. This one goes here. That one there. This one over there. I don't know what we just did. Chestnut mannequin. I don't know why we have a chestnut mannequin. Oh, because we have to make up a friend. I see. Yes. All right. Let's see if she'll go for that. Hello? Present the hedgehog. Look at my hedgehog. He's my friend. But you had to imprison him so that he stays with you. That's no way to treat a friend. Uh. Well, now, a chestnut king. A king? Really? Yeah, he rules the realm of the chestnuts and... Uh, and he's my friend. I'm deeply honored, your tiny majesty. Here on here is my dearest friend of the forest, my lady fairy. <laughs> Both of you may enter. Okay, that's what we needed. We need to literally make a friend. Finally. All right, and now we can enter, presumably. Let's see. We, oh, yeah, we can't. That has to be a through. There's no can't take that, so we'll just leave that for now. What a strange yes, place. Yes, indeed. It's beautiful. Dolls made of bulbs with hats made of leaves. Hmm. Okay. But where is the... Hello. I am Nuri Dari Nelavanda. And this is Miss Greenbald, Finkel and Hinkle, the Turnip Ghosts, and Plapperap. To make it simple, you can call me Nuri. <laughs> okay, thank you. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you... In love? Now that's unfortunate. I thought you were a fairy. All this nonsense completely in vain. Of course I am a fairy. What else could I be? You're a human, just like I am. You're much too tall for a blossom fairy and a man-sized fairy? We'll turn you into a radish at once if you don't keep quiet. Oh no. The dolls. They... No, please. Please don't do it. I'm just a simple bird catcher. How was I supposed to know? I'm just fooling around. I can't turn anyone into a radish. In fact, I can't turn anyone into anything anymore. Hmm. But you are a fairy? Yes. Why? Hmm, interesting. Let's uh, ask her to come. Would you like to come with me? Why? Do you want to show me your world, which must be full of humans? Uh, yes. With roofs made from wooden shingles? Exactly. I can show you those. That's marvelous! But, no, I can't leave here. I must stay near the fairy gate. Uh, what's the fairy gate? Is this the fairy gate? Does it lead to your world? Not anymore. It's been sealed. Mm, how about the fairy land? Did you come from the fairy land? Yes. And hopefully I'll never go back there. Why can't you just come with me? If I leave here, I get sick. The only thing that keeps me alive in this world is the magic of the fairy gate. How's that? It is my world. Without its water, my soul dries up. Like a plant. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, let's take it on. Couldn't you just take a part of the magic with you? How could I do that? Hmm, let me think about it. Why don't you want to go back to your home? That's just the way it is. Well, all right. To each their own secrets. Indeed. All right, so now... I'll be back in a minute. We have to figure out how to... Yeah, I was going to say this is the gate, obviously, because there's over the water. Let's take a look at it. Is that a magic well? It doesn't even look like a gate. Why? What do you think it's supposed to look like? 
You're strange. I keep hearing that. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to climb up there. All kinds of things could happen if I touch this gate. Very true. It's uh, kind of an elaborate uh, looking wind chime. What's this? Leather ribbons. They're probably for a new set of wind chimes. Well, I guess she has to occupy herself with something to kill time. Very true. That's probably why she has all these little friends. Can I borrow one of these ribbons? Not those. I wanted to use them to... No. I can't remember what I wanted with them. Huh. I'll give them to you as a present. Yeah, that's interesting. So, something's going on where she's kind of losing touch, it seems like, with reality. She cut their roots and dressed them in clothes made of leaves. What in the name of the unknown does the seer want with this fairy? I have no idea. Let's talk to the mandrakes. Go on, say hello to them. What? Go on. Uh, hello, Hinkle and Finkle and whatever your names are. Alright, let's maybe give the chestnut mannequin to the mandrakes. My chestnut king doesn't mingle with common root folk. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, let's tie up Nurian. Thanks for the ribbon. What ribbon? Never mind. Mandrakes? Gwynling would not approve. Uh, fairy gate? That's no help at all. Gotta be like a container or something around that I'm missing. This is all we have right now. We do the walking can on the ribbon. Let's see where this leads me. All right, so now we have walking can with a leather ribbon. I have no idea. Oh, can we? Uh, let me put the blank on here. Make a little. Not this way. It doesn't work. I can fish for the water, but the rod still needs a container attached. Right, okay. I don't really have anything that could make a decent container. Oh, use the hammer on the chestnut? Huh? No. Waste of mo I can do better than that. Not light. Okay, let's see. Oh, there was something that was blue. Brittle spot. The stone is all wet. Maybe I can get to the water if I deepen this cut a bit. Okay, so I can deepen it maybe with a hammer. Oh, water. All right, so now I have a little bit of a waterfall here. There's a magic glow from deep within. I mustn't touch the fairy water. Okay. Huh? No. Not like this. Alright. Um. It isn't gonna work this. Hmm. Because it looks like, like if this wasn't so big, I could use that. Uh, what else is there to do? Let's hit the space bar again, because... There's just the mandrakes, the fairy, the fairy gate, the runlet, the ribbons, and Nuri. And that's it. Can I leave? What happens if I walk out? Because there might be something outside I can use. And what happens if I go down here? Maybe I just not. No, please, I seldom. Oh, All right. right, so I can't leave. Oh, the poor snail. At least the hedgehog seemed to like it. The cage is blue now. Is that blue? Is that gray? I can't tell. Get out of there! Ah, there it is. The snail shell. What a peculiar snail shell. Let's take that. 
Now I have a container to hold the water. Albeit a small container, but... Okay. Well, the prawn shellers of Nostria would laugh at me, but that's still a fishing rod. Now let's use the fishing rod on the runlet. What have I built the fishing rod for anyway? Very well. But how do I seal the snail shell now? Okay, so now we've done everything we can. I really like this a lot. I like this uh, system that they have. Or turns gray, so they're not constantly going back and being like, oh, do I need to use the le leather ribbons again? Or do I need to use the runlet again? Things like that. I really like that system a lot. It makes the game a little more easy to solve the puzzles. Uh, let's see, can I just plug it with the acorn? Interesting. The acorn fits on the end of the snail shell like a cork. All right. Now, finally, I'll attach the leather ribbon so that the fairy won't spill anything. Sweet. And we have a snail shell amulet. Let's give it to Nuri. Look what I've made for you. You've tied Yerk of a snail to a leather ribbon. No, look. The snail shell is filled with water from the fairy gate. Now you can come with me. Really? Just try it. All righty, let's go. I wonder if that's true, what, they, uh, what they're presuming. You have to show me everything. Where do we go first? We have to go to Andergast. Is that where you live? That's one way of expressing it. Which way? This way. Wait. Ooh, the crow. Uh-oh. Look, Geron. A magnificent bird. This plague gets worse and worse. Come. There's the town gate. I just want to say hello to him. This unkempt black witch's beast? Says the ugly, pale-faced pig-eater. Hello, Raven. I advise you to avoid the town. What's he saying? Two dark figures tiptoe past the gate. They're on the lookout for your fairy friend. Who says she's a fairy? I am a fairy. She's lying. How come you can talk anyway? And how do you know everything? I once made a big mistake, so the gods punished me by giving me the conscience of a man. Birds don't make mistakes. Birds just do whatever it is that birds do. You mean like the crows in this town? Why don't you regale us with a cheerful tale? Stay away from him, Nuri. Something's wrong here. But all creatures have the gift of speech, Garon. That's not important. Come on, you'll be safe with me and Gwynling. Huh. That's up. Uh, oh. Why is the door open? This is where you live? <laughs> Something's wrong here. Look at this mess. Is this blood? By the gods, there's somebody here. The fairy. I have to hide her. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, Nuri, you go in the closet. Look, Nuri, this is exciting. Is that a cave? Yes, wait in there until you see a bright light. Who's this? Hello. I am Nuri Dari Nelavanda, but Geron calls me Nuri. Oh, I have to find out what's going on here. Okay. This does not look good. Oh, oh. what? Oh. By the gods. What happened here? Your eyes. Who did this to you? The seer. He's back. Don't move. I'm with you now. He sent his creatures for me. The fairy. You'll have to... They... Gwynling. Oh, Gwynling, stay terrible. with me. <coughs> wow. Look at that. Look at all the scratches. That's, wow. His eyes are gone. 
gruesome. Well, let's see what kind of information we can get out of him. What did the attackers want from you? The old fairy. Scholar. He'll be the next. What do they want with the fairy? He needs her, but he mustn't get her. Okay. What did you tell them? I spit at them with my own blood. Alright. Wow, what were the creatures? What kind of creatures were they? Creatures of the night. Strangers in a strange world. What did they look like? They had pale faces and pointy claws. The heck? What fairy scholar? No. Oh. Please don't die. Not now. He, he traveled with us back then. Thirteen years ago. He, he was the one who sealed the gate to the fairy land. Okay. Where is he now? It was all in vain. Where is the fairy scholar? In the blood barrier at the Red Lake. He went to... The Orkland? It's too late now. All is lost. Hmm. What will happen with the fairy now? There's only one solution. What way is that? You'll have to kill what? her. It's the only way that Seer can be stopped. What? No, I'm not a murderer. In that case... And the ghast will perish. Uh, uh, is there an alternative? I can't kill the fairy. You'll have to do it. Surely there must be another way. Don't be a fool. His power is beyond the realm of your imagination. This is crazy. I'm not going to kill Quindy. the fairy. There. I can hear them. The black wings. Uh, no, 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 no. What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? I can't kill the fairy. I'm not going to change my mind again. There must be another way. The Fairy Scholar. The Red Lake in the Blood Barrier. The King can deploy his knights there. They'll know how to defeat the Seer. I must go to the castle immediately to warn them and everything will be fine. There she is! There's the witch! Don't look into her eyes! Witch! Take her to the stake to burn! Oh no. Nuri! Nuri, uh, I told you to stay in the closet. They'll burn the fairy. I don't think they're in the mood for negotiation. Alright, well, we are going to have to try and save Nuri. We'll do that in the next episode of The Dark Eye, Chains of Satinov. Until then... <laughs>